This is the end of year 2025 update for Superior Technology. Do a quick shop tour. Right here is our vertical milling department. We got a Matsura that we actually bought when we built this building. It's actually eight months older than me, 1994. A few Mazak, older VCN, newer VCN, few robo drills, a Kia vertical pallet change machine, an old Matsura horizontal, an old Matsura vertical. These old machines hold great tolerance for the year. So as we make our way over here, here's our tool room. We have four manual bridge ports and one proto track bridge port, a newer proto track. We have over here, old manual lathe, proto track lathe, our hardinge manual lathe, and two larger surface grinders, an old brown and sharp and a newer Okamoto, and our three manual brown and sharp surface grinders. No one's here today because it's a Sunday, so there won't be anything running, but move over here. This is our inspection department. We have our MSC cabinet that has all of our standard thread gauges in it, ring gauges, our Vidmars for all of our pin gauges, Deltronic and minus pins, surface plate with three height stands, microscope, laser mics, optical comparator, manual Zeiss CMM, more measuring equipment, gauge blocks, extra pins, our cabinets with our micrometers, most of our calipers, our Venzel CMM, all our job kits put together are over there. And then as we make our way back out here, this is kind of our smaller horizontals, 400 millimeter Kiwas, three matching in a row keep it easier for the operators. An old Mori 400 millimeter horizontal, along with our big vertical Toyota mill. You'll see most of the work we do here is casting based. Smaller brake discs, other steel castings, some aluminum. This is our lathe department, we'll get down there. Two more robo drills, pallet changers. An old Hardinge 1000 that hardly ever gets used. An old Mori Siki vertical. This is our EDM machine that we bought two years ago. Our tool crib. Again, another vending machine. This stocks all of our standard turning inserts, drills, drilling inserts, end mills, pretty much anything that needs to be reordered. And then we also have our Vidmars with all of our high-speed steel drills, all of our taps, all of our non-standard turning inserts, collets, used end mills, used drills, random cutters, and a lot of hand tools, carbide grinder, all of our job boxes for all of our mill jobs. That's where all the standard and non-standard tooling goes once a job gets set up. So we'll make our way down here, have a slight leak out of the ceiling it seems. So these are all our very old hardened GT lathes. Here's a Swiss machine right here, an auto loader, a few more hardened super precision. These machines for their age, it's unbelievable how well they hold tolerance for the amount of usage they've gotten. We've had these machines, some of them since the 80s. Two more Hardinge 42s, another one right here. We liked our Hardinges back in the day. We have our Mazak and two more horizontal lathes. 
but some of the work we do is 316 stainless. Some of it's aluminum, a lot of it's steel. Our Miano BNX lathe, our Quick Tech. This machine actually has tools that rotate at any angle on both spindles. So this building we're in now is the original Superior Technology. And in 2016, right where this doorway is, we actually added on and built an addition on the opposite side, added on 42,000 square feet. So we're going into our saw room slash, this is our wash bay, some storage space, stock rack, our two band saws. We actually just bought a new one that's supposed to be coming in this week, but hasn't arrived yet. All different sizes of material. You can see small bar stock, up to larger stuff. So going through, this is where our coolant's mixed. That's the raw coolant. It mixes it at one and a half percent and puts it up there. So it's pre-mixed for all the machines. Our whey lube and hydraulic oil are in these tanks. We move into the other side of the building. A lot of storage space is required. So all of these parts are all castings inside of all these boxes. So as we make our way here, this is our HCN 6800, making these axle boxes. More storage for all of our castings. Washion VTL, two very old Doosan VTLs. A UG VTL, another Doosan VTL here. A smaller one next to it, a 550 versus the 900. Our very old Morisiki SH633 horizontal. This is our balancing area where all of the discs we do are actually dynamically balanced. They're cut to make sure that they're within spec for the amount of imbalance we're allowed. And as you see, we do discs of all sizes. This is my hand for scale. Some with hubs in them, some as just discs. Board with micrometers and calipers for the vertical lathes. One Kia and one Doosan VTL with milling. Two more Doosan VTLs, another Washion. On this side, this is our Mazak Palatech machine. Our HCN 8800 that's running these big castings right now. And a 500 millimeter Makino horizontal. More storage space for castings. Making our way back here, we have our MPI booth. This is where we do all our magnetic particle inspection on all of our castings. We basically spray them with a mixture of oil and iron filings with basically a pigment that lights up under UV light and you inspect the parts for cracks. The front side of the Palatech, all different styles of manifolds. We have our other 500 millimeter Mazak horizontal here, and another 500 millimeter Mazak horizontal, more cast parts. Mazak horizontal lathe, making our way back, some more storage. This is our assembly area where the discs get assembled and put into crates to ship to the customer. And this is our dark brown and sharp CMM room. This is where we do all our inspection on the parts that are manufactured on this side of the building. Making our way down to the other side of the shop. 
this is our newest addition, our paint booth. We do all our painting in house now. So paint gets mixed back there. We have our fume extraction system, separate vents to keep pressure inside the booth so it doesn't get any contamination on the wet parts. Our deburring department, right here we have our large sandblasting booth we built. It's dark in here, but two tumblers in the back along with our smaller sandblasters. More racking for storage. This side of the deburring is basically our standard deburring tools, red and blue wheels, benches, all the tools required to deburr parts, ultrasonic cleaner, belt sanders, drill presses. These usually get moved around from machine to machine depending on what they need for the job they're running. Small other cell we have here, two more robo drills, a hard inch conquest, and a third one with a pallet changer. Doosan lathe and another hard inch, making our way through here. More tool storage, optical comparator, some old Morisiki lathes. Oh, these are Akumas actually. Misspoke. Now over here is our assembly area. This is where all the parts get unmasked from painting and get prepped and ready to get boxed up. As you can see, there's bolts for assembly, masking for all the painting. Our lapping tables, one large one, one small one. Centerless grinder, honing machine, key seat cutter, brooch, and our two wash tanks. Over here, we have our two gear hobs. Definitely a lost art. And then our two grinders. Basically for grinding tight tolerance diameters on stuff like this. And making our way to the end, you see that around the shop we have these shadow boards with brooms, dust pans, and other cleaning supplies just to make sure that if you need something to clean up. This is our shipping department. So all these racks are basically our shop inventory. All our different parts that we have in stock for our customers, we could pull out of stock racks upstairs for packaging materials and that's pretty much it well thank you for joining me on my end of year 2025 shop tour some stuff has changed since the last one some stuff has not but thank you for watching